Hey guys, so you know how um, uh, Verizon is switching over to a uh, tiered plan where it's you're on tiers like if you know, megabytes per month, basically not megabytes, gigabytes per month. Um, like you either have like few hundred megabytes, a few gigabytes. Um, it goes two two gigabytes, three gigabytes, and ten gigabytes. I think. Um, not really sure. Haven't really looked. Haven't remembered it fully. But it it's um, Verizon has a tiered um, data plan now. Um, basically. Um, FaceTime and Verizon have never been on good terms. Um, and considering with the iPhone 5 launch, uh, the Verizon needed to um, actually make a deal with Apple to actually have um, FaceTime work on its data plans, right? Well, actually, um, Verizon has actually made a deal with Apple um, for FaceTime to work on its data plans. The sad part is to actually use the um, data plans um, and Verizon. So if you're, if, if you're um, uh, wanting to go on FaceTime 3G and you have Verizon, you actually have to have a tiered based plan. Um, you can't be a grand a grandfathered account with unlimited um, bandwidth. Um, you actually do need to have a tiered based plan. Hopefully they change this maybe and allow people to actually go with the grandfathered accounts. Um, but so far you cannot. Um, they are testing this and the quality of the tiered based plans for FaceTime 3G have actually been pretty decent. Um, so maybe they are um, trying to, uh, maybe they fixed some sort of uh, something in the um, coding of it because uh, the quality does seem to have improved. Um, anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe.